think it's just subdue. Subdue is a pretty good card. Throw that in there. You might need to change some things, obviously. I'm not a dual paladin expert, so this might not work immediately. But dual paladin seems like it got some help, this this uh, mini set. It seems like it's a fun, unique deck that we haven't really played too much before. So I'm going to give it a go. Demon Hunter's deck is just damage plus 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 damage. And they don't need weapons, they don't need minions, they don't need anything. They just do damage via spells. So you can't stop it. These are all pretty fantastic cards against the aggro deck. I'm a little concerned that they're not dual. I'm not gonna keep desperate measures. I think you keep first day at school though. But like, let's throw these back and try and find dual. Nice, Scrapyard Colo. Ooh, Metal Fiend. I'm the demon hunter now. Two mana, one one, and or one mana, one one. You could get a card from his deck. Could be another one drop. I'm down. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. They will never catch me. Nailed it. There's the duel for turn five. So turn three, Ceremonial Maul. Turn four, Archmage. Turn five, Duel. Look at that curve. Isn't she a beaut? It's the curviest curve of all the curves. Synergy. Yeah, Duel Paladin, very renowned for its early game aggressive pressure. What is it? It's got Control Demon Hunter? He's, he's gonna have OT. He's OTK, right? He's trying to OTK me, and I'm trying to get big. Are you guys ready? It's almost time to do 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 do. Coming soon to motorcycles near you. Man, there's a lot of downtime in Hearthstone. I'm not used to playing normal Hearthstone. I've been playing all, all these other games. Holy smokes, you gotta wait for your opponents a long time. <laughs> Hasty33, welcome back to the Batcave team thing. Thanks for uh, 13 months of support. I appreciate it, man. Welcome for two first and then show the duels. Here we go, time to duel. I think we win, guys. Duel Paladin is sick. Oh, we got his combo out. All right, he has no OTK combo and our board is massive. Thank you, Hold the phone. He's doing the combo. You can clear this. <laughs> He's not even close to clearing it. All right, dual paladin holds up against. Combo decks, right? It's pretty good against mid-range decks. It probably gets shafted my aggro still. But I'm excited. Dual Paladin's showing a little bit of momentum here. I didn't really play any new cards though, did I? I just curved out perfectly. And then high rolled this guy. It might not be a good deck, but killing people with Colossus the Moon is sick. We got the HS Deck Tracker extension, so you can move shit. I will fight with honor. You put the deck over my face. You put the deck over my opponent's face. Put left, right, upside. I don't actually. You can't do it upside down. I don't think they have an upside down feature. But yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you guys are saying you have the ability to move the extension one around, but you're upset that my camera is covering the other one because you want to have two deck lists fully visible on the screen. What? Are... May I ask why you need two deck lists on the screen? I don't want to be rude. I don't want to try and like step on your dreams or anything. But what is the point of the second exact copy of the deck list? I just feel like we're using up a lot of real estate on the screen. That's a compelling argument, Dr. Widow. He does have two eyes. One... <laughs> 
One eye needs to be on each deck list. All right, two eyes. Two eyes, two deck lists. That's fair. It's a fair argument, although I can't move that, so I just have to move my camera. Just know that this makes Ed angry every time I move my camera. I wonder. Somewhere, Ed is upset. I must move quickly. This gets my duel. I'm gonna go coin Vargoth into gift. He doesn't do anything super proactive. That's pretty freaking proactive. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that. I'm still gonna try it, I think. Ah, the coin's pretty valuable in my hand. I, I just do this. Who are we hitting today? Reporting for duty. It's a good card. That's one of the new ones. Look at that. Four mana, two race guards. That's a fair point, yeah. I mean, my camera not in the way of the YouTube feature. These are so smart. I should have just known you guys were... It's gonna be good, actually. It is gonna be good. I didn't even think of that. One of these is a redemption, right? Nailed it. No shield slam? If it lives, we got a 50-50 for big air. Or we could just consecrate if he develops poor health. We could also just gift. Yeah, we probably just gift pass if it lives. And then try and commencement for big, big air. The Jigglypuff Fridays. I'm doing good today, man. I think good. Well. But should cast twice at the end, giving me many, many Archmage Margoths. Okay, now that we have four Vargoths, we can really let the commencement commence. I'll show you who's boss. All right, goodbye, Vargoths, kinda. He only gets one proc because we do have the Repentance up. So unless he has another Skipper or a Whirlwind Effect. Oh, Cthulhu, AoE. He did have to spend his whole turn just removing the board. So their commencement is going to be able to come out of the... Hopefully be powerful. Put your faith in the light. Dude, our Tyrion got Divine Shield and Taunt because of the commencement. Big value. Greetings. Wow, that was perfect for him. I want to coin Scrapyard more than I want to coin this, because I only want to play this if it's actually going to be doing something with its effect. So let's try and snack run and find another big spell. Nailed it. Snack time into duel time. And we want to put something out there so that he can't blade storm as easily. So this Voodoo Doctor hits the bill very nicely. Now try and blade storm this. He's probably eyeing any Cthune pieces he has. He'd like to use them. So I'd, if he has a maw, he'd probably be throwing the maw out. We had his armor total kind of in check as well. Both shield blocks have been utilized and an armor smith is gone. He's only got really one armor smith to scale his armor for those shield slams. He did not have the shield slams earlier because he had a lot of good shield slam moments that he skipped on. I wonder if he's got the OTK in there. Because sometimes you can play Cthune and the OTK, you know what I mean? 
Little uh, Pocky in the Hood 1. Thanks for four months. Welcome back to that cave team thing, man. Appreciate the continued support. Glad to have you back. Is this going to be a real deck? Real deck in which sense? If you mean real deck as in you can make it to legend, then most definitely. But if you mean real deck as in people are actively going to want to play it at high legend and in tournaments, probably not. There's like four decks that are like tournament level. But there's like a hundred decks that you can make it to legend with. I, I guarantee you dual paladin will be legend viable. But... Will it be something that anyone in the actual pro circuit brings to a tournament? Probably not. It'll be in a pretty similar spot as the old Duel Paladin. Some good funds and some Mega to Legend. But then tournaments, everyone's just playing Demon Hunter Mirrors. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe. You don't need the skipper anymore. I just need to start clocking him for fours. We put this up and started hitting it. One damage off lethal. What secret would you play in this situation? If you don't take face damage, draw cards? 